All right, Coach. Uh, good looking class. It's been a long, interesting day, but just some some guys specifically that jump out to, on paper to me. Talk about a guy like Montreal Connor. How, how is what is it going to add to offense to have a big, powerful back like that? Well, we we really felt like going into this process, we were going to sign one running back, and uh, it was going to be a high school guy all the way. And and we stuck with that until late in the recruiting process. Uh, Montreal became available, showed some interest. He's a big back. Um, he's a little bit different than most junior college backs in the fact that he's three for three. He has three years to play here, so he comes in being like a sophomore for us. So, you know, that made him intriguing. Uh, after watching his tape, he's he can do a lot of different things. He's got speed, he's got power, he can catch the ball. And so we just felt like it was kind of like the NFL. You know, here's a guy left on the board, he's available, he's showing a lot of interest for us, and so we just felt like we had to take a chance with him. In the same sense, uh, you guys have had a lot of success with junior college wide receivers last couple of years. Jason Bruce, Tobias Skill, guys like that. Go back to Mississippi, get you another JUCO wide receiver in Hollis Moore. What kind of element can he add to this offense? Well, he, he's another one of those guys that's got experience. He's played in one of the toughest leagues there is to play in the Mississippi Junior College. They get after each other with great talent. Um, he's got good size, good speed. He's got long arms. He can reach out and get the ball. Um, you know, he, he's played a lot of football against good quality people. So we felt like he was a guy that could come in and help us. He's a smart guy, high character guy. Uh, going along with Corey Johnson, who we brought in at the break, we feel like both of those guys can really come in and get immediate help to us. Uh, another, another Mississippi JUCO coming over to help with Jeremy Pierce on the offensive line. Uh, what, what can he? What kind of stability can he provide for the O line? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, you know, wish we could have got him in at mid year. He was not a mid year guy, but he was a guy that we targeted last spring. Was probably one of the best looking linemen we saw in all of Mississippi. We were really high on him. Didn't think we'd have a great shot. Just started recruiting him, and we're able to get him. And uh, we think he can come in. You know, get here this summer, and he'll have a chance to help us next fall. We really feel like he's got all the skill. He played an offense very similar to ours at Jones, and um, we've had a lot of success with guys over there. So feel like he can really contribute when he gets. Here. Uh, go up to uh, outside Birmingham to bring in a quarterback, pretty big kid that, that excites the fans when they see some uh, some stats six oh, nearly six foot seven. You now, what's Dallas Tidwell? What's his future? Here, here at Troy? Well, I, I would say he's going to have a great future at Troy. He's, uh, he's another one of those guys. He's got great character. He came here early in summer camp, uh, committed to us this summer, stuck through it, uh, never wavered, never once asked about having it. We already had a freshman quarterback starting for us, which scares a lot of people off. He wants to compete. Um, he, he's going to be a great player. I'm not going to put pressure on him as far as when he's going to be a player. Um, he'll have that opportunity. When he gets here, we're going to let him work and compete. And, and just like Corey did last year, whoever's the best at the time will win the job. Last one I'll ask you about, uh, wide receiver out of Griffin, Georgia, Chandler Worthy. Looks like he could be an exciting player for you. He is. Um, we, we had two two high school receivers, both uh, really guys that are Brian Holmes along with Chandler Worthy. Both are really fast guys, speed guys that are a little smaller. Uh, when I say that, they're 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 but they both can run, have great hands. They've got the quickness to make you miss. Um, we felt like they brought the speed uh, to the position. And being high school guys, they'll have a little learning curve this summer. But with our guys helping them, you know, that gave us four guys that we felt like could come in and help the guys we already had.